Domestic use for medicinal cannabis has doubled in the past year, but it's pricey. This Wellington GP prescribes it to about 10 of his patients. It kind of depends how much they're being prescribed, but generally people would be spending $150 to $400 a month depending on dosages. These changes to improve export regulations are really a win for Kiwi patients because it will drive more competition locally and more affordable products down the road for Kiwi patients. New Zealand's clean green reputation about to get a little bit greener. Abby Wakefield, One News. It's funny, uh, like, just, I'm, I'm going to work backwards from here, right? So it's funny how they say that New Zealand's clean green, uh, you know. It's kind of sad, like, yesterday we were, like, a friend of mine, and Jason and I, we were wa walking downtown, and, you know, they have, like, I want to, we're trying to be, like, you know, it's, it's conscientious about this, or, like, you know, it's not, like, bad. You know, downer on this as 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 um you know as it might get, but like we spend like uh, promoting New Zealand as this cl clean green um, place, this like really you know ne uh, like a uh, clean like like yeah, basically we keep saying that it's clean, it's green, and it's all this, but it's really uh, over the years like it's gotten uh, like it's very not so. Right, they spend millions and millions and millions of deck, you know, tens of millions or hundreds of millions of dollars promoting this as a clean, green place. However, if you walk, uh, if you're driving past on the on the road, on the main roads, you see rubbish everywhere, which is kind of like a downer. If you're like, if you're like me, who loves our, you know, who loves conservation, who loves our um, clean, um, you know, our country, and it's kind of sad to see just rubbish everywhere like you know and it's it's just gross to be honest and to have these you know this whole oh it's clean it's green it's all this it's you know it's and promoting that to the world it's kind of feels like you're lying you know as a nation because when people come here and they see it and they go some place isn't really nice and clean and the other places aren't and so if you've got like if you're promoting your country as a clean green place you at least got to spend the money to prom you know, work on the um, actually keeping it um, nice and clean. However, I find like over the uh, last um, what, 10, 20 years, our country has become very, you know, dirty in the sense like rubbish is on the side of the road. People just, you know, just throwing rubbish out of their car window. You see like McDonald's trash everywhere. You see like energy bottles. You see like uh, plastic, uh, you know, uh, potato chip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, um, bags, lolly bags, everything along the side of the road. And this is, it might, you know, it's like kind of like 50 50 locals and tourists just, oh, yeah, we'll just throw out the window. But, you know, that sort of is kind of said, um, sad because if you are trying to spend tens of millions of dollars or hundreds, over, if you look at over the decades that we've spent to give the world an image of New Zealand, make this clean, beautiful, clean place, right? Or green image right it, it's and then when the tourists come here go oh, what is with this and then not only that then also some tourists come uh, you know uh because of where they come from right their own personal uh countries where it's not so clean and green they their behavior also adds to our country receiving that sort of like non-clean green image because those guys are involved also in behaving the way they behave in the other places and I mean, like, you know, if you go um, in certain countries, you'll find, like, people throw their rubbish out the window. So you have, like, tourists who would come over and do the same thing here. Um, and which is kind of sad because, like, you know, it's uh, to it, it, it gives, it makes us look like a dirty place. Like, our country looks, like, dirty when, when, when you have rubbish everywhere, right? And the worst is, like, uh, you know, when there's a rubbish bin just there and just like five meters away people have thrown it just on you know either it's blown out of the rubbish bin because it hasn't been emptied or that people just are sitting there um in their car and just throwing out the you know just throwing on the, on the ground and um and as you know like plastic doesn't break down right it's just it's or and even aluminium right aluminum right uh takes years to break down and so 
paper is fine because people you know start writing off and breaking up easy but plastic you know and um tin cans and stuff like that, and plastic bottles they don't break down that, that quickly right that's why they end up most of them end up in the sea and so trying to get that uh, clean green image out there it's like it's like feels like a lie because you know uh, not um, both locals and tourists are adding to like um you know taking away from that beautiful green image that we have out of our country